Hi everyone, welcome back to another video and this time it's again a makeover video for my boys room. I guess the maximum makeovers have been done for their room. However, I try to keep it organized and tidy and even though they too clean it up themselves, it all gets messed up very soon. Anyways, they, especially Rihan, had been asking for a bunk bed from a very long time. As they both used to sleep together in one bed, we were not sure if single beds would be worth buying. Arman is used to having a company while sleeping, so sleeping alone means not sure how it would be. But Rihan wanted his own bed space. And to make themselves learn to clean up and make their bed, I had a thought that they definitely needed their own bed. Finally bought the bunk bed from IKEA. Anyways, I didn't want the fixing to go to the next day and even I was really excited to see my kids reaction after they see the bunk bed. Rihan was thanking us enough for the bed, hence thought to finish off soon. Before fixing the bunk bed, I wanted to rearrange everything as the bed position wouldn't be at where the old one used to be. So had to change positions of the wardrobe and their study table. These are stand mixers that was bought along with mine. I have two and those are for my mothers. One for mom and the other one for mother-in-law. Don't know when I'll be able to give it to them. In fact, I bought this for them to reduce their work in the kitchen. My mom makes chapati almost every day for dinner. And my mother-in-law makes rice rotis almost every day for breakfast. So both the chapati and rice roti needs good kneading. And at this age, for them, it would be a stress for the kneading. The stand mixer could reduce it a lot. Kids' cabinet looked really untidy with that paint on it. So I had this adhesive left, stuck this over there and it looked much neater. A little was left out as it was over, but I guess it's okay, it looked better than earlier. Shifting the cabinets isn't that easy, but don't know why I love changing positions. And my husband is lucky because I don't like anyone helping in a work which I know I am enough. I had told him not to come to my workplace unless I called. So he and kids were happily watching a movie. I could relax and do my work. I love fixing anything bought from IKEA. It's in fact fun to fix those tiny little things and you really feel proud of your work. We had bought this on a Saturday morning. I thought to start the fixing as soon as we reach home and finish on the same day even if it gets late night. But as I got home, was really busy with other stuff and even slept for a while was tired after getting back home from outside. Now since this was a bed to be fixed, that to bunk bed, I was feeling little confused how it would go. I have fixed furniture before but it would be either a coffee table or any small cabinet. This time it's big. Initially looking into the booklet that has instructions, it was a bit confusing. All the wooden planks looked the same and what differentiated it from each other was the holes in it. The book actually guides you properly but we need lots and lots of patience.
all had slept in the other room and I was still working. I wanted to finish it off before morning, but I had to ham a few areas and it was too loud that I would wake up everyone in the house as well as the neighbors. Had to stop and then continue next day. I quickly prepare a simple breakfast and ask kids to watch anything they like on Netflix so that they don't keep coming to the room. And finally, it's over. Rihan was too happy to see the finished work, and they both waited for the bed to arrive. My husband bought the bed after his office, so till then I went on for other works in the house, especially the kitchen work. And then came the bed. They didn't even wait for the sheet to be spread. So now that I did all the fixing and other stuff, I told them to arrange their books and clean the toy cabinet. Ask them to throw away all the waste papers and unwanted pieces of toys. For the time being, this table was for Rihan. Normally, I ask Arman to sit at the dining table for his online classes so that I could keep an eye on him from the kitchen. And their vacation is about to get over. Classes would start in few days. So this makeover was very much needed. Right now, I only got these plain fitted sheets. I wanted a little more bright and colorful ones. Would buy them later.
This basket is for keeping their story books in case they wanted to read while lying in the bed. Rihan has the habit of reading so it's reachable for him even from the bed. These lights work on battery. Bought them so that I could put them off once kids are asleep. So I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. If so, do give a thumbs up so that I know that you loved it. Do pass in your valuable comments. Don't forget to share and subscribe. See you with another video. Until then, take care. Bye bye.